Our journey began in Bhutan. My parents were both born in Bhutan. Like my parents, many people in Bhutan were of Nepalese origin, and they were referred to as the Losampas. Growing up in Bhutan, the Losampas had their own houses and land for agriculture. The Losampas were forced to leave Bhutan during the 1990s due to differences in religious beliefs, ethnic groups, and languages. In order to remove the Losampas, the Bhutanese government started to imprison, threaten, torture, and rape them. My grandfather was one of them. He was arrested, tortured, and threatened to leave the country as well. The Bhutanese government also took away the citizenships of many. The Losampas fled to Nepal and lived there like homeless people. Like most of the Losampas who escaped, my parents' families lived along the shore of my river in Nepal. They left behind almost everything they had in Bhutan. The Nepalese government was willing to grant the Losampas a place in Damak as refugees. Because of this, my parents' families moved to Belangi too. After a couple years of living in the camp, my parents got an arranged marriage and had my siblings and I in the camp. Growing up, life as a refugee was not easy. The Nepalese people would treat us harshly due to us coming from Bhutan. We were also not granted citizenships because none of our parents were considered Nepalese. As refugees, we lived in bamboo houses, had no money. We only had what was provided by the UN. Due to our living conditions, many refugees, along with my family, decided to leave Nepal and migrate to other countries with better opportunities. We applied to come to the U.S. in 2010 and came to the United States in 2011 after our IOM process was completed. At that time, I was not excited to leave because I only had good memories with my friends and family. We left Nepal in 2011 and came to Minnesota. In Minnesota, my family struggled greatly. It was not always rainbows and sunshine. It was a struggle living and adjusting to life in America, especially because we didn't know English. When we arrived, we stayed at a relative's apartment for a month or so until we found our own apartment. In the beginning, they did everything for us. They showed us around, read letters for us, and helped us find apartments because my parents were uneducated. The apartment we found was not that great, but at that time it felt like a mansion to us. The apartment we lived in was moldy, dirty, and the area was not safe, but we had to manage and live there until 2020. Shortly after we came, my father was diagnosed with a lot of medical issues, which made it impossible for him to work. My mother had to step up and take care of everything. She had to find a job, pay bills, and because she was uneducated and did not know any language, it was even harder. She found a job at Sun Foods in the kitchen area. Because we had no cars, she, along with my whole family, took the bus to work and everywhere else. After working at Sun Foods, she worked at a thrift store near our apartment on Rice Street for about 7 to $8. Because she was uneducated, she had to work extra hard in the thrift store. It was even hard to get days off. But after years of my mother's hard work, despite the language barrier, she managed to get our citizenship and she learned to drive and bought a car around 2016. Now she works at Anderson's Window, which pays her way better. After nine years of living in the United States, we bought our own house, which is a very massive thing to us. We lived in a very bad condition all our life, Therefore, buying a house is a very massive thing to us. It shows our journey in the United States. Now that we're away from St. Paul and Rice Street, we feel safer, which is a very great thing because we never felt this way when we lived in our apartment.
My family is grateful for the opportunities we got in the United States. If my family hadn't gone through the struggles we did in our lives, we wouldn't have learned to work hard and achieve our goals. Whenever my siblings and I go through a difficult situation now, we think about the struggle our parents face and their hard work to get us to where we are today.